Get your glasses up, get your glasses up, a toast to the men. Welcome to a Toast to the Men Network with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button, Toasters. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when this content drops. Let's go. First off, salute and congratulations to Mace, the rappers, and now podcasters. Mace, Betha, Cameron Giles. Uh, It's been rumored that they just inked a $30 million deal with Underdog Fantasy. Yes, their podcast just inked a $30 million deal with Underdog Fantasy. And this is huge. This is huge. Uh, It's inspirational. It's good. Aesthetically, it's good to see. It's good for the eye. It's good for the spirit. And it's good for society because often black men get this stigma that we don't get along, that we don't work together well. And it's just not true. Of course, some of us don't, but to say arbitrarily, we don't get along, we don't work well together, it's not true, man. I work well with a lot of black men, a lot of brothers, and uh, from afar, I see other men, other black men working well together, but it benefits certain people, certain groups, um, certain uh, institutions, if the narrative is pushed that black men don't get along. I think we don't get along just as much as any other demographic, any other race. But it behooves certain societies, certain institutions to push that narrative that we don't get along. And what's so dope about this, before they got in the game heavily, Gilbert Arenas, who has a podcast, Gilbert Arenas gave them a lot of game and kind of walk them through on how to get their deal, how to structure the podcast. And so that's another black man helping two black men. Uh, I see uh, uh, Gillian Wallow working, you know, with, with Charlemagne the God. Joe Budden works with other guys. Joe Budden was just on a podcast with Gillian Wallow. We thought there was beef there. Maybe it was, maybe it was all, all planned, you know, uh, who knows? But black men have been working together Uh, harmoniously for centuries and you know we're going to continue continue to do it and hopefully we can have more of this but I was glad to hear this I was glad to see this because black men get a bad rap on this and a lot of it is pushed or this narrative is passed along verbally because of the media you know, I have to check my liberal white friend, my liberal uh, Italian friend often about, bruh, it ain't what you think. Well, I ain't a victim. I'm actually doing better than you if you pay attention. And he's like, well, everybody's not like you. I'm like, no, actually there's a lot of brothers doing a lot better than me, man. You know, uh, stop reading the news. Stop looking at the news. Stop listening to it. And get out here, mingle, change your environment, uh, change the algorithm <laughs> of your searches, what comes up in your timeline, and you'll see a different thing. You know, different have, have you'll have a different perspective. And so, uh, yeah, that you know, but you got to get out. You got to get out, or, or you just won't know. Um, my last video, I did story time. I had a young lady make a comment, and it's, the comment is still there, and I won't read the comment verbatim, but she basically was saying, uh, because the story, the story was around these three women I came in contact with at a cigar lounge, and uh, I gave a generalization about women. Now, is that every woman? No, it's a generalization about what I've experienced throughout my years, throughout my travels, and that particular situation, that story time. And so a young lady commented, so I was generalizing, which I was. Uh, And also, it was like, what type of women go to cigar lounges? So that showed me right there, that's that's ignorance. 
That means you haven't been to a cigar lounge. You have not been to a cigar shop. So you don't know what type of women go there. And she was saying it in a derogatory way, in a negative way. And uh, I told her, hey, <laughs> women are doing their thing in the cigar industry. There are many owners. There are, uh, all women don't smoke. They go to their network. There's a lot of networking taking place. A lot of networking taking place, cigar lounges. Um, they go to mingle. You know, a lot of uh, responsible, mature men are not going to the club. And a lot of us don't go to church, but we will go to a cigar lounge. Uh, so they go for different reasons. So some do smoke, but there's a lot of female owners. I know them personally. And so I say that to say, when a narrative is pushed, and you don't step into that atmosphere, into that environment to learn, to know for yourself, you'll believe what somebody's pushing upon you. And that's what's been pushed well, when it surrounds black men and us working together. So it was good to see these black men come together because they were beefing it once before. They were friends, grew up together, played ball together, uh, got into the music industry together, started beefing soon after that. And I guess they were beefing probably a good 15 to 20 years. And uh, just recently, uh, they mended it. They mended the friendship, and now they're doing business together. So look at that, man. That, that's a beautiful thing. But I want to encourage all people, man, especially the brothers, don't allow people to place a narrative on you and don't place a narrative on others without being informed. If you're going to judge something, if you're going to have a narrative about anything, a generalization about anything, at least be educated at least be experienced, at, be, at least be in that environment where you can have an educated perspective that's based on something solid. All right, but this is a beautiful thing and let's keep doing it, brothers. Let's keep pushing. Hey, toast to the man, toast to Cameron Mace. As always, from me to you, love, peace.